hundreds of bodies lying in the streets. Panic spread worldwide after a leaked report from the World Health Organization showed... The UK has a strategy. Mm. So there was an existing strategy from 2007 that was then later updated in 9 and 10 after the swine flu outbreak. So there is a pandemic strategy um, that was written in 2011. Um, and that, you know, it obviously um, reflects a lot of the kind of um, civil acts. Um, so the responsibilities of primary care providers and the responsibilities of acute care providers um, and who has to support kind of business contingency plans and that kind of thing. Um, there is some modeling done as well where they kind of predicted an influenza outbreak might look at adding kind of um, say 25% uh, more ill people and from that you might get maybe um, 5,000 more people accessing primary care services so going to their GPs and then maybe from that you might get 150 people who would then go to hospital and 100 of those people could potentially die so if you know if you're looking at this per 100,000 and then looking at it per population you know the numbers can soon kind of mount up really um, so there is some kind of you know general this is what we potentially expect in terms of strategy and this is what we plan to do on this respect but a lot of it is obviously guesswork because obviously it has to be a new you know just talking about influenza it would be something new that people might potentially not have any resistance to or we might not have any kind of vaccinations for it at present so you have to kind of you're almost anticipating how severe the disease is going to be obviously in 2009, we were quite lucky because swine flu was a relatively mild flu virus. Um, so there's kinds of lots of elements to, to consider, but there's certainly um, preparedness plans in place. And obviously the European Centre for um, the Disease Control and Prevention work with European countries to have preparedness plans in place. So to some degree, the majority of countries will have some kind of plan or strategy in place. and. I guess it's just about kind of how easy it is to implement that and how severe the illness is. And also, again, there's all the same things that we've discussed, like incubation periods and surveillance and transmission and all of those things to consider, because that will obviously affect like the kind of general strategic approach to addressing something like that. One thing that really struck me when I was researching this uh, a year or two ago is that um, if you ha really do have the the, the massive pandemic, and then it's a question of well, how do we vaccinate everyone? It turns out that there's one of the bottlenecks is the actual global capacity to, to manufacture enough mm. vaccines. And the, I think that it's, it seemed that part of the problem was that, well, it seems a bit of a waste of money to have all these you know, vaccine factories you know, doing nothing all, all the time. And then to, to gear up and actually to make, uh, if sometimes you might need two doses of vaccine, to, to make enough vaccine to, you know, to to vaccinate seven billion people. And it's, it's not something that the world can do at the drop of a hat. It's, 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 uh, how, how long would it take? It takes a, a, a lot of time, and especially because it's, uh, several vaccines are made differently, so you need dif dif different types of plans uh, or of conditions to, 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 to prepare the vaccine, to grow the vaccine. It depends if it's uh, uh, um, uh, attenuated or a killed whole bug, or whether it's a recombinant protein. Or, or the, th This is a totally different plant and a diff different approach. So normally, uh, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm a preclinical vaccine developer. I'm not working in private companies or, or pharma producing vaccine. But um, as much as I know, the, the, the plant is actually designed for the vaccine when the vaccine is, is, is coming through the, the, the pipeline. So plants are designed for specific vaccines very often. So, so let's say uh, the, the, the new pandemic needs a, a type of vaccines where there's maybe two plants in the whole world because there's two pharma companies producing it. You're entirely right. There's, there's no capacity at all to produce very quickly. Uh, one vaccine for seven billion people. This time it's gonna be different. I just know it. What do you mean? They're gonna be there, the fireflies. I'm sure of it. 